Hello, this is Roland Cisco Systems Switzerland. I quickly want to share what I rediscovered during the last few days. Um, it is called a feature called Instant Connect. So the idea is to connect two people as quickly and easily as possible. So we have an agent who would like to talk to a user out there in the world. The idea is to send to the user via text message, via email, whatever he has at hand, a link to a session, to a meeting, and the user can then choose from which device he would like to join that session. So it should be independent of being a mobile device, a desktop device, or a, an iPad. So I show it with an example. So on uh, one end we have the agent, the agent desktop, if you like, which is also browser based in this case, but I can also dial in with a, a video device if I would like to do so. And on the other hand, we have the mobile device in this example, my Android phone, who is the user um, in this case. We have a bot set up, which allows to create these meetings for example, uh, I talk to this um, bot, I say hi, and then I get the option to create a meeting link for about an hour. So let's create that meeting. And then I simply enter the email address of the user I would like to send this invite for to, and also the phone number. And as soon as I click send, the message will be sent out to the user and he can see it on his mobile device coming in. So I send, see it here coming in. And if the meeting did not start, I can still already click on the meeting link and I'll basically get to a lobby where I wait until the agent starts the meeting. So in this case, I can, uh, the user is Baby Yoda. The user can already test his audio and his speakers. He can already see like, okay, I would like to use the front camera when I join the meeting or the back camera. In this case, my handmade little bunny, which is about 40 years old. And uh, I can also see that I can send text messages later on. The agent clicks start the meeting, a uh, browser window opens. He can also see what camera he is using, what picture quality there is and um, tests the audio. And once he says start the meeting, the meeting will open. And I'll just make sure I have everybody muted. There we go. So also as an agent, I can mute the user. Um, as mentioned, the agent can send messages to the user. For example, I say, hi, user. And there we go. I'll see this message coming in um, down here as a chat message. And I say, hi, agent. There we go. I'll go away and there we go. It's the messages coming in. I go back. As sh shown in the test already, I can swap the camera so I can have a look at the bunny. The agent can see the bunny when something shall be shown to someone. And I swap back and I see my favorite baby Yoda again. As an agent, I can of course also see like if there is multiple participants, we have seen that earlier. I can check out the layout or change the layout and I can change a few things uh, regarding the camera settings as and choose which camera to use and to remove also background noise or uh, blur my background. The agent can also share his screen so I'll select our smart workspaces solution and then the screen pops up on the other side so I can just show whatever needed in this case. And I can go back and say, stop sharing and go back to my picture here. I can also like 
have multiple participants in the same call. And as soon as the user joins, I'll put him on mute. And that user is uh, my dear kangaroo. And maybe I can also quickly here show like how the layout changes when I have multiple participants. So whoever is talking is uh, shown as the main participant. That much to the meeting experience. I can uh, hang up and the meeting for all and give rating. So let's have a look at the product in the documentation quickly. So it is called Instant Connect. Um, we have this exact bot shown here, used now for the quick demo. Use cases are healthcare, retail, banking, whomever needs to connect two parties quickly. Um, features supported, we have seen screen sharing, pictures and pictures, uh, interpreter, we can blur the background, um, we can chat to the user also when they are like in the lobby still. So that's a little bit about the description. We have here also some documentation um, with an example and uh, also important the minimum requirements. So it it works not on any device or on any software. It works on Mac OS, Windows, iOS, iOS and Android. And there we have here the minimum requirements for the various browsers. So it does need some minimum versions, but I think these minimum versions should be on state of the art devices already installed. How can you do this whole thing? So basically you go to instant.webex.com, you say begin integration, and then it will ask you to log in with your administrator account from the Webex org, and then it will activate the connection between your Webex organization and this Instant Connect service. So there's no additional fee. Um, you can define then how the appearance is. So for example, I have now for my own Instant Connect added some Webex logos and I can easily configure some features inside there. I can enable or disable chat. I can disable screen share. I can disable to invite somebody by email. So this is all possible with these toggles I have available here. So very convenient. And then how do you continue? You can follow the guide here. I'll link it in the description later on to create these meeting links. So what do you need to do? So it's really easy. You get uh, your personal access token from the WebEx developer portal. Really easy and well described here. You retrieve it um, from here. Then you use the Postman application to um, connect to the service and there is a few things you uh, do with this postman application to actually just demo it or to show it like a proof of concept um, how it works and i'm sure you can also integrate it in your own application and you follow <clears throat> this guide and then it creates the meeting links for you so i did this as well i wanted to quickly show you so i uh, send this request and then I'll get back these two links, either the long link I uh, add to the uh, base URL, which is also listed here, or I have a short version of it, um, which, which is here, and I'll add it behind this uh, link here, and then I can connect the user to the agent and then send out this meeting link automatically. So it doesn't have to be the WebEx application talking to the service. It can be anything uh, which you, you have available, so any software, and then you can quickly and easily connect your users out there in the world with an agent or also being into users, whatever. So it's really quickly and easy. E it's really quickly and easy to be done. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped. And um, yes, 
let me know if you have questions and uh, yeah, otherwise hope to see you in my next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.